It's time to feed the whole family with breakfast that you can make ahead of time, which, Arthi, is important. So, yes. everybody, this is going to make it so much easier. Network star and cookbook author, Arthi, Arthi, Arthi Seguera is you know here it. with recipes for our new cookbook, it's a Unwind, a devotional cookbook for the hairy yes. and hungry. Arthi, good morning. Good nice morning. Nice to see you again. Good to see you. And, you know, I know you've got your coffee, but there's a little bit of coffee in our breakfast as I need well. It. Yeah. We need that. I'm just looking out for you guys. Really. That, that's a good thing. <laughs> Thank you, Arthi. Okay, so where are we beginning? So we're making a banoffee French toast casserole. Yeah. So that's bananas, toffee, Ooh. whipped cream, hmm. all the major food groups. Yes. Yeah. So I've got dulce de leche just from the can and oh, some you milk. you had me there. Milk melting right here. If you could whisk these eggs for Absolutely. me. Absolutely. And we're just going to make a custard. Okay. So I was melting that dulce de leche. Now if you could add that milk. I in can. Here. I think I can. You I can really do can. it. I really can. Well, let's do this at the same Slow, time. Slow, fast. Does it matter to you? It does not matter. I've got okay. vanilla instant coffee in here. It smells delicious. Yeah. And you know, I love this because you could make it on a Friday night, Saturday morning, pop it in the oven. And immediately that smell yeah. says breakfast. So when you warm that up, you're going to smell that all over. Yes. Again. And yeah. you know, it's very important to add salt when you make sweet Things. Oh, I didn't. That yeah. brings out a little bit of the yes, flavor. Yes, it neutralizes the bitterness. I know. <laughs> so so that, she's a food and you said star. one of the things you mentioned is you can make it and then pop it in the oven later. Yes. What do you do once you pop it in the oven? So it's 350, 20 minutes. That's it. Now we're going to bring this custard together. Put the bread in here. The great thing about this is normally when you make French toast, you want old bread like pan right. do. You can use fresh bread here because you want it to absorb that custard overnight. This You're doing a great so job. Thank you. Hey guys, I don't want to give this away, but yeah. it looks down there. Yes, you want to walk looks on by. Unbelievable. Okay, so the the next morning. Can I eat it just like that? You. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Please don't. No, I was like, uh, there's a little raw egg that in looks it. So good. Yes, yeah, so I've got some brown butter that's going to go on top. And you put right. the brown butter on the next morning. You put this the brown is an butter. important step yes. to wait on. Yes, because that's going to make it beautifully crispy once it comes out of yeah. the oven. Mm, now I can. Now there's more. <laughs> More dulce de leche just oh, in case. Because you need just more. Yeah. So you, you, yeah. your cookbook is a little bit different. You decided yes. to use in Unwind yeah. some of your faith. Yes. Why did you decide to kind well, of put it in? I mean, you guys have families and busy lives, and so do I. And I would find that even as a food professional, I get to 5 p.m. and be like, now I'm going to make dinner. Like, how dare you? How dare you ask me to do that? And for me, I could try all the shortcuts, but what needed to change was my heart. Mm. And I needed to come into the kitchen and go, even something that feels so mundane can be meaningful. And for me, I needed to turn my eyes to heaven and go, God, can you meet me here? And that changed everything. And so instead of it being this thing where I'm pouring out for other people, yeah. here was a moment for God to pour into me so that I could be a better mum, wife, daughter, et cetera, et cetera. I love that. Yeah. I'm going to think so yeah. differently. Yeah. I gotta tell yeah, you, about hearing later. that, I think so many people will say, yeah, I get I get that story. Um, yeah. So we put, we drizzle this on top. Yes, we- Spoonful's <laughs> not bad. Bad, right? Be careful, Sam. <laughs> That's really hot. I'm so scared. This guy. <laughs> like, he's like a superhero right now. Mm, so no, a little whipped cream. Though. And then bananas, and you're all oh. done. And there it and is, my darling. And you have one more mm. item for us, Arthi. Yes, yeah, so, you know, chai mm. is a huge mm. thing for us, which means tea. Please, America, chai tea means tea tea. Mm. So mm -hmm. just say when chai. When I saw that in the note, I immediately <laughs> thought, okay, I can never say that again. Now so you know. It's, just chai. it's like an ATM machine. Yeah, I'm yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I do say that. I say that too. I say it chai. Yeah. Okay. So here's my chai, and then I make little rock cakes, which are like little scones, basically, mm. which was the first thing I ever made as a chubby little child living in the Middle East, and I loved it. Well, we're so, so thankful. We love you. Yes. We, this food is delicious. Thank you. Can you can scan the QR code mm -hmm. on screen to get these recipes on Good Morning America. Com and Arthi's new cookbook is out Tuesday. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.